Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I wanted to show you a little bit of a project that I've been messing around with since the sensors came out, and as well as the camera blocks. Now imagine you see a ship drifting, you see a ship drifting out in space, and you go towards it, you investigate it, and what you tend to do is you end up going inside it and having a look. Now this ship itself is built to capture and either kill or bring them people back to your base so you can do do whatever you want with them really but let's head towards the ship and what you'll notice is the door will drop down now there's two versions of this there is the one that will track you down that one basically has a number of sensors i'll show you a little bit later on and it'll follow you track you and it just makes you want to go inside and see what's going on and there's this one as well that you can leave at a station and you can leave it with its landing gears propped up and as soon as someone gets trapped inside you can disattach the landing gears and bring it back to your base or you could even be really mean and just blow them up with hiding a massive explosive in here so let's hop aboard now we're just gonna hop up the stairs and as soon as we get aboard the staircase closes behind us and seals in now we're pretty much locked in here there's not too many ways out now we could try grinding our way out but i put something in the walls to stop people from grinding now, a nice bit of explosives is the best way of doing a bit of prevention. Now, I was also thinking of adding something like a turret up here behind. We've also got the camera here, so you can see people panicking around when they're inside and they're stuck and they just don't know what to do. Just something really funny to have a mess around with. Now, these buttons won't be here, of course. These are just so I can actually get out of the thing instead of having myself trapped in and have to cut out. So, I'll lower the staircase back down and we'll just try to help ourselves out. There we go. And that staircase is going to go back up and seal whoever's inside. Now we've also got the other variant. Now I've left a very nasty surprise in this. And this is also another way of just really upsetting your friends. Now I've left the ship like so. I'm going to hop aboard. If I can. Jump in there. And now this is just going to be so disorientating and horrible to actually be in. As soon as that staircase goes up, this thing goes absolutely mental. Now also what it's trying to do is trying to locate the closest station. And then what you can do is actually fly into it. But just trying to imagine trying to grind your way out of this. Now this this is absolutely entrapment. It's a bit like a bait car, you could even say. Anyway, let's show you these on a few people trapping them. So after a little bit of waiting, it seems like we've got the first contender pulling up here. He's had enough time to build himself a little ship by the look of it. And he's coming into dock with the actual station itself. So the station is pretty simple, just a gravity generator. It shouldn't really bring too much attention. He thinks he's found the door. Alright, is he going to go inside though? That's the question. Oh, he's looking around a bit. Up there. It's like he's having some problems, but he's gone inside. Oh, is the door's closing behind him. That's horrible laughing. So this time I set up a few more and instead of just blowing them up this time, I trapped the player inside and tried to work out what the hell they were doing. Now it didn't take them too long before they wondered there was no buttons for the way out, so the only way out was a grinder. So I countered this by starting to spin the ship with them inside. And you can soon see things got very out of hand. As you can see this guy is pretty much everywhere. You can't even grind it until eventually it glitches out and flies out the side of the ship. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about this concept and maybe give you a few ideas on building your own sort of bait ships. I mean, it worked quite well. It managed to draw the players in and then the once inside, you really get to see some panic from them when they realise that they can't get out any easy way, especially if you mix it up with a little bit of explosives. I didn't really have too much time to actually drive anyone away but it was still pretty fun, and I'm sure you could work out some pretty exciting ways to abduct people with this. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.